Air Brake Chamber Parts and Functions 1. Service Brake Chamber The service brake chamber is a critical component that converts compressed air into mechanical force to activate the brakes. When the driver presses the brake pedal, air pressure enters the chamber, pushing against the diaphragm and moving the push rod. This action applies the brakes, slowing or stopping the vehicle. It is essential for the normal operation of the braking system during driving. 2. Spring Parking Brake Chamber The spring parking brake chamber combines the functions of the service brake chamber and the parking brake system. It uses a powerful spring to hold the vehicle stationary when parked. During normal operation, air pressure compresses the spring, allowing the vehicle to move. If air pressure is lost, the spring engages, applying the brakes to prevent the vehicle from moving. 3. Diaphragm Return Spring The diaphragm return spring is located inside the service brake chamber and ensures that the diaphragm returns to its original position when air pressure is released. This action retracts the push rod and disengages the brakes, allowing the wheels to move freely. It plays a key role in maintaining the responsiveness of the braking system. 4. Service Brake Diaphragm The service brake diaphragm is a flexible rubber or synthetic membrane inside the service brake chamber. It moves in response to air pressure, transferring force to the push rod to apply the brakes. Its durability and flexibility are crucial for efficient brake operation. 5. Parking Brake Diaphragm The parking brake diaphragm works in conjunction with the parking brake spring. When air pressure is released, the diaphragm allows the spring to expand, applying the parking brake. It ensures smooth engagement and disengagement of the parking brake system. 6. Dust Cap The dust cap is a protective cover that shields the internal components of the brake chamber, such as the diaphragm and springs, from dirt, debris, and moisture. It helps extend the lifespan of the brake chamber by preventing contamination. 7. Mounting Bolts Mounting bolts secure the brake chamber to the vehicle's axle or brake assembly. They ensure the chamber remains firmly in place during operation, maintaining the integrity and alignment of the braking system. 8. Push Rod The push rod is a metal rod that transfers the force generated by the diaphragm to the slack adjuster and brake mechanism. It moves outward when the brakes are applied and retracts when the brakes are released, playing a direct role in brake activation. 9. Yoke the yoke connects the push rod to the slack adjuster. It ensures that the motion of the push rod is accurately transferred to the slack adjuster, enabling proper brake application. It is a crucial link in the mechanical chain of the braking system. 10. Clevis Pin The clevis pin is a fastener that connects the yoke to the slack adjuster. It allows for smooth movement and adjustment while maintaining a secure connection. It ensures the push rod and slack adjuster work in unison. 11. Slack Adjuster the slack adjuster is a lever that connects the push rod to the brake camshaft or S-cam. It amplifies the force from the push rod and converts it into rotational motion to apply the brake shoes or pads. Proper adjustment of the slack adjuster is essential for maintaining effective braking performance and preventing brake drag. 12. Parking Brake Spring The parking brake spring, also known as the spring brake chamber, is responsible for holding the vehicle stationary when parked. It uses a powerful spring to apply the brakes when air pressure is released. This spring is held in place by air pressure during normal operation. But if the air pressure drops, example, in an emergency, the spring engages to stop the vehicle safely.